jeez. It helps if I hit the record button, guys. Anyway, guys, Red Shinigami 89 here, and you'll notice I'm not actually at my base. I am currently sitting at uh, Silver. Silver's base. This is um, he's my second in command in the tribe. This is his base. Now, a lot of my dinos are here. And the reason for that is, well, my base was wiped. This long story of the short is this. My base, due to mechanics I was trying to abuse, caused lag spikes and people's clients were disconnecting. So because of that, my base was completely white. I lost everything. Not just one or two items, everything. So here, let me show, let me take you back to the other base real quick. Now you'll notice I have a lot of us, oh, I probably can't even see it, but I do have a lot of my gear back. Like I am back in my riot gear and stuff. Uh, this way. But if we go back out to the, you'll notice the base isn't rendering in, and that's because there's no base to render in. It is literally gone. There's nothing left. Uh, according to the owners, uh, there might be a couple foundation blocks hidden underneath the ground that they couldn't get. Um, but yeah, it's it's all gone, guys. So all of the offensive turrets, everything I had, they're all gone. We all agree that it was just best that we don't do the PvP just because uh, I don't know the mechanics. They don't have time to teach me, and at this point, I was really stressed out on it anyway. So PvP was turned off. That's all fine. That's dandy. I don't really mind. I only wanted it for one stream anyway to sort of give a little battle royale type idea. And worse, we are throwing around the idea of getting the tribe mates together and seeing who comes out on top. Uh, me, Silver, Aldrin, Taz, or the Duth. Um, but for now, like this is the actual base. It's gone. I have a new base started, and let me take you over. It's I call it Camino. And this was going to be built in preparation for um, PvP. However, due to due to issues, it was uh, cancelled. As I said, we. Uh, we, we did cancel PvP altogether, so all of that's going down the hill. But I still can keep the original idea I had, make it still make it a slight PvP build, and, and see how it goes. But all these metal platforms from the Platforms Plus mod are being added into this cave. So it's meshing a little bit. But this is designed meshing from the game. Even if uh, Collisions was turned on, this would still work, because that's how these platforms work. Anyway, how that's going to work is I'm going to have dinos, or not dinos, but uh, each of these platforms extended as far as I can without pillars. And then I'm going to basically be connecting each one and then building up and sort of building around that way. And I'm going to have each each one of these will be multi-tiered. And it's basically, this is Kamino. If you're familiar with uh, the prequel trilogy of Star Wars, not, uh, not the original trilogy and not the Disney trilogy, the prequel trilogy. There's a planet that does all the cloning for the, st for the stormtroopers. Well, that's basically what I'm replicating this off of. I'm going to have a replicator in one of in the one that has the most floor space near the back. I think it's going to be on that wall there, and then it's going to go from it's going to go, and I'm going to basically clone any dino there, and then I'm going to throw them. There going to be one of these is going to have nothing but start uh, a tech generator and cryopods, and then I'm going to just sort of connect. And then store them in the cryopod until it's just like, oh, okay, I need them. Come up, grab them. Here you go. But as far as builds go, there's really not much to show here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six total platforms in here so far. I plan on having around between seven and ten. I need one more right there for sure. And I think I'm going to need another one over there. So I'm thinking I might stop at eight. And because that might just be too much because I don't want to over have too many too many in here because a it's going to make it harder to build and it's also going to be cluttered at that point but that's a problem i'll discover off camera other than that not much has happened uh we did have a titan sword go loose on our base and we did lose a few hold on here scroll down yeah we did lose a few of our favorite dinos like we did lose a few of our sheep we lost loki and aggie so the the triceratops and the Egg with the flyer, not the petrodon, but the uh, yeah, we lost them and Bob the Builder and Paul. Those would be the th th four that you guys would know. Paul would be uh, the scorpion, 
And Bob the Builder was uh, that uh, was a mantis that I tamed. It was a level 300 perfect tame mantis. So when I lost him, I was very sad. Uh, another thing on the server that got changed is we had our dino settings were too high. Uh, we had health dinos with health of over 3.5 million. Yeah, that on without just just by leveling them up, no mutations or anything. So uh, the server owners agreed that uh, they had to be nerfed. So the dino settings got wiped, and so all of our dino health went down quite a bit. So that means going into boss battles are going to be a lot harder. So they should be more entertaining for you guys, which is good. It is going to be harder. It means we're really going to have to try and focus on breeding a little bit. But that's all there is to really say about that. Um, other than that, guys, uh, there really hasn't been much change. Um, and that's actually it for changes. However, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end here. However, I'm going to roll over into a clip. And you guys should see... It'll probably take about two episodes to fully watch. Um, I'm going to probably put this out in part one. And then I'm going to put the uh, dino tames out the day later uh, of me taming a couple dinos. Does that sound good? Or maybe I'll cut them off halfway. I don't know. I haven't done the recording yet. So, But anyway, we tamed two elemental rock elements. And we also tamed two griffins, Lois and Peter. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end here. And I'm going to just sort of cut over into uh, Taming the Rock Elementals, and we'll see how it goes from there, guys. But thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. All right, so first things first is we're going to need to get uh, some flyers and go find us a good golem. Uh, we had a golem, I don't know what level it was, near our uh, mining spot. Oh, yeah, but let's be real. We want to get we want to get a diesel. We don't want to get no, like, 40 Fair enough. So why don't we start there? And so, oh, uh, before we do, I need to get I need to make spy glass. Make my life a little bit easier. Uh, I can drop off my uh, mantis gear as well. Yeah, there we go. I already. No point having bug repellent go bad in my inventory. Oh yeah, no, no, no point at all. I, I also put a lot of the eggs that were in the uh, collector bins in the uh, spring as well, because they're just going bad. And... Did you notice in there, there's something called preserving salt? Uh, I didn't think it was necessary with the refrigerator. It doubles it with the refrigerator. So even, oh. if, even if it was only like, you know, 99 days, well guess what, now you have 200 days. Fair enough. And where did you go? Uh, Silver's, my, my, Silver's Metal, I think. Okay, right, yeah, you went to the mining cave. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that's where we're going. But yeah, no, I just wanted to, because I, I know you've never really played too much on on um, Scorched Earth, so I just wanted to make sure you were at least aware of it. Well, I know all of the basic stuff. I usually just use preserving salt when you're dealing with um, the uh, the bins. When you get into electric, I stopped using it. They 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 still double like they still uh, they couple with the uh, electric, so I'd still recommend using it. That way, you don't have any issues. The only thing it doesn't work on is things like organic polymer, though that does work with uh, refrigerators for some reason. I didn't think it was supposed to, but it does. I got a two eighty right here in front of us, actually. Oh really? Well, there we go. Um, hold on, let me just double check the one by. By the oils that I have seen earlier. I'm just trying to remember where the oil was. Uh, just go through the cave. And... I already found it. I already found it. Yeah, we'll go with yours. <laughs> the rock elemental I saw was only at level 30. Yeah. We, we can. Well, we can keep looking and see if we can find a perfect one if you want. I say, because we're not doing PvP anymore, I say let's just not worry about it. Let's just, we want to get a good one, but we don't want to get, we don't need to go nicky pick on, because uh, we can't breed elementals, so. No point in, so it's that one I see way out there in the desert then? No, they can legit like right in front of us here. Like right on the edge that there's two, and uh, they're both 280. Wait, what? 
Do you not see where the Ankyo is fighting there in the? Yeah, I do. I'm just yeah, right beside him. I see. Yeah, okay. Wild Rock Elemental, and, and yeah, okay. Right so, yeah, I saw the one you onto our right. I didn't see the one to our left. Okay, right, cool. I'm gonna go back get our first. In that case, I will stay right here and uh, be the teleporter pad for you. I'm actually gonna take my bird back with you. No worries. I just don't like uh, teams being here because uh, nine times out of ten I always get hit and then it's like they go nuts and then you're fighting your bird. Well, that's why I put them on passive. Because even if they get hit, they won't go nuts. Do that. So that's why everything I've like noticed has been on passive. Yeah, usually um, I generally keep things on passive, but uh, I had an accident on the last server on the Valdero server, and what happened is the um, I tamed a Giga. It wasn't a high level. It was the first Giga I could find, and I was a little scared to go after anything bigger. So it was a matter of... Um... Did you want me to drive, or do you want to drive? Uh, we don't need to drive. Oh, we just lure it here in front of the thing? Yeah. My, my build is very simple. I'll show you here in a minute once I clear out a little bit. Yeah, get rid of those centipedes. <laughs> Um, oh, by the way, I was doing a cave run, and um, yeah, I used the chainsaw on the things, and if you chainsaw as soon as they fall, you get about 2,500 to kill. Uh, the the uh, worms or the centipedes? Uh, the worms. Oh, yeah. I Oh, yeah. Trust me. I went. I did a cave run earlier today, and um, I had collected three and a half stacks before I finally gave up. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So you put down a gate. Interesting. They can fit through that gate, though, can't they? Negative, sir. Negative? Oh. I'm uh, building it backwards, thinking we're going the other way. Alright. So we're going to, basically, you're going to pull up the, uh, the print, the, the cannon, basically, on this side, and then it's going to get stuck on this gate, and you're going to shoot through it. Yep, and then these gates kind of just, you know, funnel them in. Funnel them in, so he doesn't really run off to the sides or go around it. Yeah, we need him to come straight in the middle here, because that's where we're going to be shooting our... our... Okay. Um... And then this next part is to stop him from throwing uh, throwing rocks at us. What the hell is the... Oh, it's a windstorm. Like, what the hell? The only thing I hate about this map were windstorms. They're not that bad. Uh oh. Wow. Never mind. Take it back. Uh huh. If you're in the desert, they're they're bad. And we're right on the cusp of the desert, so. Uh, I'm never on. I'm like never in the desert, so. Yeah, you gotta add it with scorched earth. It's part of the reason why sand armor is so important because it actually helps you with this, if only a little bit. The only thing that'll really help you is just not being out in one. It's been so long since I've made this turn. I think it's not this way, I think it's the other way. But when they do the same thing, all it's really doing is pro protecting your line of sight. It is, but it, I think it's blocking us from being able to hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we don't want that then. Oh, uh, yeah, if we I had left it. Yeah, I see what you mean. If you had left it, the cannon would have been right at that level. You wouldn't have been able to get through get hit his head. Okay. That makes sense. So now you just need to turn this guy around and you should be ready. Yeah, do you want to wait till the storm's over though? Fair enough. I don't know how long these storms normally last. A while, sometimes. Sometimes only a couple minutes, sometimes ten. I, they're they're going to be a few minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop recording until we get this, until the storm passes. We'll be right back, guys. Three hours later. Oh god, I forgot to record. There we go, we're back in. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so yeah, he's not getting to... Alright, it looks... Why were you cannonballs? It should be in the thing. Uh, it was in the box. As I said, it should be in the box, yeah. If not, I'll run back and get some.
That answered that question. Well, there you go. Stop the done. She's. Yep, she stopped them. And see, the issue with not having like an upgraded scope is we don't know how many shots it's going to take us. Oh, that's. I heard someone mention upgraded scope. It might have been you, actually. I, I just didn't yeah. know what it was for. Well, it's for things like this, so when we're trying to tame a dinosaur, we can see what its life's at, what its, you know, base stats are, see if it's worth taming. Without actually knocking it out. Yeah, exactly. And then it also helps us watch torpidity levels. Uh, it's helpful with gigas and things that take a lot of torpidity to get there. Alright, I will run it by Yun. And you said it was, um... I couldn't tell you anymore what uh, add-on it was from. I think it was awesome supply glass. I'll take a look after. Could be, could be. I, I really wanted the, um, what was it called? Rare sightings. Uh, it, it's just something to do for, like, say, you or myself when we're bored. It's like, put a radio on and it tells you, hey, there's a rare dinosaur and it's got, like, mutations and different color patterns and an upgrade. And you can go get it. Interesting. Uh, all right, where did it disappear on? Is that right there? Oh, yep, and funny to your left. Oh, I was wondering. Come on, big guy. Where's the... Oh, God. <laughs> We're gonna have to use some toilet. back there. I knew it was far away, but I just... Uh, oh, crap, there's a lot more in my way than I realized. <laughs> Ah, crap, I was trying- oh, he's just- You should use your weakest gun now that you're stronger. I- Last thing we want is to kill him again. I don't have a weak gun on me right now, <laughs> so I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Shot him in the knee. And also, don't go for the headshots. Though I will admit, the half of fun is just sort of seeing him throw the, uh, rock at you, and then just sort of sidestepping it. Like that! <laughs> <laughs> it's like it went right over your head. Alright, uh... You wanna go throw that gate back up? Oh, Jesus! Ow. That one hit me straight on. He's following you, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just shot a lot of them. Oh, we need that get in. Oh, I don't need need it, but I was about to say, uh, seven. Why are you coming after me? <laughs> <laughs> Got what? that gate right inside. Sorry, you Alright. He's facing the wrong way. He I is facing Stop. the wrong way. He'll turn. And I just realized something. We do not have Ow. enough cannonballs. How many we got up there? Fifteen. Uh, so we, we won't go through thirty to kill them? Alright, I'll jump back. Yeah, okay. I will uh, see if we're aimed properly though. Yeah, we're hitting we're getting headshots this time. I'll make another thirty cannonballs to do it. I'd say so, yeah. I can only make 28. Oh, so it's going a little bit high. Let me aim it down a little bit. And.
Yeah, no. No, no. Thank you. Oh, he bent down to say fired. <laughs> There we go. Come on, knock it. There he goes. All right. This guy should go a little bit quicker because it's too.